On that note, let's watch some fucking season 2024 shit. I have not watched this yet. Oh my god, it's kind of loud. Out with the old, in with the new. Welcome one and all to season 2024. We've got quite a few changes to share, from terrain adjustments to new monsters and items. Ready to see what's coming? Let's get into it. Wait, where are we? Oh, it's top lane. These walls are different, and would you look at that? The brush is now in the middle of the river. Well, that'll make for a tricky... Huh. What does this mean, guys? I think what this means is a jungler can't, um, can't like hug this wall and sneak into this bush. And then when the top laner steps up to CS, he's like basically mailing him. Like, you know how the, okay, so like this is the river cut off and the, and the minion wave you can imagine is like very close to this. So before the jungler could just sit here at the edge of the bush where my mouse is. And he could sit there and be concealed by the bush if there's no ward. And you could gank off of that. But now, it's going to be way harder to gank, right? Because you get into this bush. This bush is way harder to gank from. It's like significantly different angle and, and further away than the previous bush. And so basically, if you don't have a ward, um, it's going to be harder to gank. in the middle of the river. Bot and top. Same on both both. Well, that'll lanes. make for a trickier gank path from jungle. So Yeah, okay. I see. Like it's so much, so much more open. So you your top okay. laners can focus more on your lane opponent instead of hungry junglers. We've got terrain changes across the entire map, actually. Like oh my god, what the fuck? Mid is way pushed out. That gank that Weiwei did on Faker in the finals, where he uh, came out of this side, like it, it would probably. I mean, it probably would have worked, anyways, because of how he was. But I, I guess like that type of gank. Is just going to be way less effective because um, you have so much more space to see the jungle coming out. The brush is farther back from the lane now, and we've adjusted the walls to both red and blue side for better symmetry. Overall, these adjustments should make it a little safer to play a variety of champions in mid lane, especially those mages with zero dashes. Speaking I like of that. Safety, we've also changed I the walls that. opposite Baron and Dragon Pit for a bit more security while you're moving between lanes through the jungle. Finally, in bot lane, there's a new gank path on red side to make the map more symmetrical. We've also shifted the brush. Oh, okay, so this has changed. This has changed. They, they, like, I, I, I red side can gank lane, from there's behind, like basically from your own turret. A new gank path on red side to make the map more symmetrical. We've also shifted the brush to the middle of the river so both teams can more reasonably fight for vision. Holy control. Shit. Look alive down there. Wow. Am I okay guys? Am I am I like coping right now? Or is bot lane the easiest lane to gank now? Because they made mid harder to gank. They made top harder to gank. But bot lane. What the fuck? Is this not an insane gank path? You're essentially getting ganked from the angle of your of your own turret. We've also shifted the brush to the middle of the river, so this both teams can more reasonably fight for vision control. I, I could be wrong. Look alive down. I hope I'm wrong. New the jungle Avengers? paths aren't the only thing to keep your eye on this season. A new void monster has found its way to the rift. During the early game, a camp of three Void Grumps will now spawn inside the Baron Pit. When you attack... Everything reminds me of her? ...attack a Grub, smaller Void Mites appear to join the fight. Killing one of the Void Grubs grants a permanent buff to your entire team that deals damage over time when attacking turrets. For every Grub you slay, the buff becomes more powerful. After the first three Grubs are killed, huh. three more will spawn a few minutes later. If your team manages to kill all six, then you unlock the maximum buff. When you attack a turret, you'll apply the damage over time and spawn some Void Mites of your own to help take it down. Keep in mind that these grubs are an incremental camp, not all or nothing. So slaying even one can give your team a small boost and keep the enemy from collecting all six. At 14... I don't know what I think about that. 
They made ganking harder for junglers, but they gave them another early objective to play around. I don't know what I think about that, honestly. I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Because junglers... I guess like one thing that might be annoying as a regular player, right? Let's say 80% of us, we don't play jungle. One out of five, 20% of us do play jungle. We're going to be affected by what the jungler is doing and the enemy jungler is doing kind of passively. Like let's say the enemy jungler is running the server, but he's not really ganking your lane. He's just killing these void things. And then your lane opponent is getting this buff stacked up. But like... This buff is only useful when they're hitting your turret. I feel like if you're winning your lane, they're never going to hit your turret anyways. So I don't even know what I'm saying. It's not even that effective. It's like snowballing. Like if they're fucking you and they're getting the void grubs and killing your turret even faster and getting plates even faster, then it's like, damn, this sucks. But you're you're kind of getting shit on. So I guess they kind of deserve to snowball in a way. Any remaining grubs disappear and the beloved Rift Herald enters the game with a fresh new look. Maybe they're born with it. Maybe it's the hideously vile influence of the Void from whence they came. If you slay the Herald, you can summon them as before to march down lane and whack turrets. Or, any member of your team can hop on board to play Summoner's Drift, steering the monster as they charge forward like a battle sled. Ramming what? Herald into a turret this way deals some extra damage, what? and you can run into enemy champions to damage and knock them up. On collision with terrain or a turret, the driver pops out nearby, and the ability to steer goes on cooldown. This cooldown resets if you hit a turret, but takes longer if you hit a wall. All aboard the Shelly demolition train. Now let's talk about what was that? That's fucking pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna be driving it as AD carry. I might just run it down. Baron Nasher, Voidborn Tyrant of the Rift, is back and badder than ever before. When he enters the game, you'll know it. Baron takes one of three forms when he emerges. Each form provides the same classic buff, but alters how he fights and determines the shape of his pit. But wait, there's more. Wait, wait, With what? Baron's entrance, the Void's influence spreads. I'm sorry, but is it random? Of the is it random? Is back and badder than ever before. When he enters the game, you'll know it. Baron takes one of three forms when he emerges. Hmm. I don't like random. I don't, I especially don't like random when it's so impactful to the game. Like, I would say overwhelming majority of Pro games and with Baron control being a, a kind of like the primary 20 minute plus objective, right? You can't you can't gank bot lane after 20 minutes. TPs are super important for controlling Baron and fighting over Baron vision. And now this this randomness around such an important objective. I'm not sure if I I'm Each not sure I feel about provides that. the same classic buff, but alters how he fights and determines the shape of his pit. Like this one is so beneficial for red side. It's just like you could just coin flip like whoa randomly like all of a sudden red side has access to baron look look at the difference look at the difference regular baron or like actually that one's a different one that one's not even regular baron this one is regular baron shit for red side as you can tell shit for red side can't get into the pit okay boom random one-thirds fucking like dice roll and all of a sudden you can get into the pit really easily and contest baron There's from red more. Side. I, I just don't I don't really understand, like, why can't we just have a little bit less luck, but a little bit more blue-red side balance on this? With Baron's entrance, the Void's influence spreads across the map, infusing the Scuttle Crab, Brambleback, and Sentinel with dark power. Voidborn Scuttle Crab becomes tankier and tougher to kill. On death, she sends out a massive burst like a Scryer's Blue, revealing all enemy champions and wards in a large area. Bet you didn't see that coming. Likewise, the Voidborn Red and Blue buff require a little more muscle to take down, but in exchange, they grant the buff to every teammate who's alive at the time. So no more fighting over who gets Blue buff, all right? I like that. I like that a lot. Speaking of cool new buffs, let's talk Infernal Rift. All versions of the Elemental Rift have been refreshed to a- Let me just, let me just say, anything that a team can play around mid and late game and fight over is a good thing. I've always said this. I'm going to say it one more time. The best thing about League is team fighting. And like, I don't think the best thing about League is, is laning phase. I don't think the best thing about, the best, most fun thing about League is um, split pushing. I definitely don't think the, the most fun thing is like, just like playing 1v1. I think the most fun and dynamic and sort of like interesting part of the game 
is team fighting and the more things you can team fight over kind of pushes the game to be more about that and i really like that of cool new buffs let's talk infernal rift all versions of the elemental rift have been refreshed to accommodate the new base terrain with mountain rift losing a few walls that didn't quite fit anymore but we've changed up infernal rift completely we don't have gameplay footage quite ready at this time so let me paint you a word picture Instead of a burned out fire escape, Infernal Rift will scatter Infernal Cinders all across the map. Picking up these cinders gives a small burst of move speed and a stat buff. On death, half your collected cinders explode out for others to snag for themselves. I mean, you weren't using them anymore, right? Isn't that crazy snowballing? You could just have a million cinders as an AD carry and do fucking as giga in damage years and never past, die. We've made some item adjustments for this new season. Like, a lot of adjustments. For one, mythic items are out. Gone. Poof. In their place, we're adding, removing, and updating a bunch of items across Whoa. several champion classes. Mages, assassins, the tanks, fucking art on these is pretty fighters, cool. and marksmen will all notice quite a few changes when they gear up this season. For example, the new Storm Surge for those AP assassins and burst mages who really want to shock the enemy. In addition, we've overhauled the support quest items. Supports now have a singular item they pick up at the start of the game with minimal stats. You earn gold with this item by executing minions of any type for a flat amount or hitting enemy champions with abilities or attacks. At the middle tier, you unlock refilling wards as before. And when you reach the final tier, you can choose between several upgraded items to suit your playstyle. Whether you prefer protecting your carry or more aggressive support tactics, we've got you covered. While you're running around the new map with new monsters and new items, you should keep an eye out for old grudges. We've added a handful of champion quests that will trigger when certain champs are in the same game. Defeating your quest rival on the enemy team will grant a tiny buff. While it won't significantly impact the game, it'll be a nice reward for your Renekton mains to finally stick it to Nasus. Many of the Ooh. If it's not significant, why put it in the game? I, I, I really, guys, I can't, I can't stress it enough. I don't like uncontrollable randomness in this game um i know that randomness can be fun and you know like i play to carry i know all about crits and how fucked up crits can be and how shitty it can feel or how great it can feel depending on how your luck is with crits but i think it should be limited and it, it really sucks when look all I'm, all I'm gonna say is i really hope that this like champion stuff this quest system, it's completely out of your control. You load up solo queue, you lock in Shen, you're a Shen main your whole life, and then randomly the enemy has a Zed player, and it's like, fuck, you know, now if he kills me, he just gets, like, fucking a, a, a pickaxe or a BF sword. It's just like, god damn it, you know, why? Just why? And, and, and you know, there's, like, the whole lore stuff, and I, I get it, but I hope that it's... I hope it's nothing because if this is something in the game then it's just going to be so frustrating finally stick it to gameplay mechanics and okay so zonia's zonia's no longer gives ap it just gives you 60 armor 60 mr and makes you uh untargetable holy shit oh these are these are fake stats these are fake stats guys it's 120 AP and 50 armor. Holy shit, that's a lot of AP. What? How much AP does like Horizon Focus give right now? I know Zonia's gives like 80. Zonia's gives 80 right now. And then what did you guys say? Okay, so Horizon Focus. So Horizon Focus is a very high AP item. It gives 100. And you guys saying it gives, it's going to give 120? Whoa, that's a lot. Systems easier to understand. This goal includes a lot of adjustments mentioned previously or smaller changes like simplified tooltip language. We also just want to make it feel better to be on the rift. Listen closely and you might notice the music changing throughout the game based on where you are or what you're doing. Baron boss music, anyone? And now you can celebrate or commiserate with your teammates in a language everyone understands. The fist bump. Okay, that was a lot to cover. In summary, that's pretty funny. New terrain means new gank path in every lane. Void grubs are now a thing. You can now drive the Rift Herald into battle. Baron looks scarier, and the void is everywhere. Infernal Rift is totally changing. There's a bunch of new items. Some champs are bringing their beef onto the Rift, and fist bumps explode into sparkles and fireworks. Whew. 
Got all that? Good. If you want all the nitty gritty details, we unpack everything in the article linked below. So study up, friends, and we'll see you in January when season 2024 kicks off. Wow. I am very excited about this. Like, I'm so excited. I think the game is really fun right now. I've been crazy addicted to to playing, and and um, I did not mean to click the opening ceremony. Um, I'm really excited for these changes, actually. And apparently they're removing stopwatch? 